Um, you know, to be honest, yeah, I really haven't, you know, had many phone calls or texts of like, hey, you're gonna get called up. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm a big person of, you know, being on my feet are, um, you know, when it's my time, it's my time. Um, and, you know, until then, I'm going to, you know, put my head down and keep working hard, and, you know, and when I, when I get up here, you know, make the most of it, so. I've been going from low A or whatever to all the way to triple A in your first real pro season. What has that experience been like the last five or six months? Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's been, been a ton of fun, um, you know. It's been a, you know, a roller coaster. Um, but, you know, I think just the different things I've learned, uh, you know, from each level, you know. And I think I think my favorite thing, you know, is meeting, you know, every different guy at each level, and especially AAA, um, you know, talking to the older guys, you know, picking their brain, you know, kind of what they've went through, the adversity that, that they go through, how they how they co go about it. Um, and then also, you know, the AAA coaches. Um, but yeah, you know, I think this year has been, you know, a great year for me. Um, you know, I couldn't be more more pleased with myself. Um, you know, and I'm just, I'm just very grateful, you know, to come out healthy from it. What, what have you learned about yourself as a pitcher through that journey this year? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> I, I always say, you know, I think the biggest thing for me is, um, you know, the mental side. Uh, that's something I always work on. You know, um, I've been working on it for almost three years now. Um, I think the biggest thing for me, um, you know, is kind of learning to, you know, take control, you know, on the mound, um, um, you know, when things kind of get tough, you know, learn to accept it, you know, but go about it in a way of, okay, you know, I've, I've been through this before, um, I know how to go about this, and, you know, to, you know, l almost try to limit the damage as much as possible. Um, but, yeah, you know, you know, I would say, you know, I'm not the same player as, as I was a month ago, um, you know, from a mental standpoint. Um, and, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with, with how this year's gone. How much more confidence were you pitching with at the end of the season as opposed to at the beginning? Yeah, you know, for sure, you know, beginning of the season, you kind of press a little bit and try to, you know, want to impress. Um, that's, that's not who I am, so, you know, kind of took a step back, regrouped myself, kind of, you know, got back to, you know, what I do best, you know, and that's going out there and, and you know, attacking, you know, not worrying about results. Um, and, you know, and just the, the confidence that, you know, I've gained throughout the year, um, you know, from high, way, high, high A all the way to AAA, um, you know, it's, I'm very, very pleased with it. What did you find to be the biggest difference between pitching in A ball versus pitching in AA, AAA? Yeah, um, you know, I I think I think high A and double A are kind of similar. Um, I think the the bigger jump, you know, is from double A to triple A. Um, you know, I think I think some of the older guys, you know, put it best. You know, or in double A, you know, you got to worry about you know maybe two, maybe three different approaches. Um, but in triple A, you know, you've got nine different approaches that you gotta you know not not worry about, but kind of you know pull up, you know mix and match and try to put a puzzle together. Um, and, you know, you know, you're facing, you know, veterans that have been, you know, in the show, you know. And it's fun to, you know, to pitch against them. Um, but, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I'm, like I said, I'm very pleased with how this year went, you know. And I'm very pleased with, you know, being able to get a taste of, you know, what AAA was like, um, you know, and going to the off season and build on it. How confident are you right now in, in your, your sweeper and your other secondaries that you've been using? Yeah, you know, I'm, I've been working on those. You know, I picked up the sweeper. Um, in spring training, that was kind of the only new pitch that I've added. Um, you know, I'm very, very uh, pleased of where that's at. You know, I have um, a ton of confidence um, behind that pitch, you know, just to, you know, throw for a strike or, you know, for, um, you know, a strikeout pitch. Um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm very, very, very pleased with, um, you know, where, where my arsenal is at. So going into the offseason, how would you rank your pitches? Right. <laughs> um, basketball first, change up. Um, I'd say short slider, sweeper, curveball. What was the biggest growth, I guess, in, in that arsenal for you, obviously, adding the sweeper? I guess how did that kind of translate to the way you were able to rise through the ranks, I guess? Yeah, um, you know, I think the sweeper was a big, big pitch for me to kind of add into the arsenal. Um, you know, I never really had... All, all I really had, you know, in college last year was like the, the, the short slider, um, to, you know, not not too much, you know, break away from a, from a righty, 
Um, so out of the sweeper, you know, to you know, want to have that more breakaway from a righty, um, you know, for that, that that swing and miss pitch. Um, and you know, I, I I think you know that never doesn't hurt to you know add a, add a new pitch, especially if you have confidence behind it. You know, having confidence behind it only made it even better. So. What do you do to work on the mental side of your game? Um, I have a mental coach, to be honest. Um, I picked him up my junior year of college, um, and, you know, I have a routine with him that, you know, I talk to him twice a week, um, you know, the day after my bullpen and then the day of my start. Um, just kind of tell him, you know, what I'm feeling, you know, the thoughts I'm having. Um, and, you know, he's been, you know, he's been a blessing to me, um, you know. I love everything that, you know, he has, you know, equipped me with, um, you know, and everything I talk about with him, you know, I take out to the mound with me. How has he helped you? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that he's helped me with is staying on the attack and, you know, if I can control my mind and, you know, and give myself clarity in what I do and, you know, and that's pitching aggressively, you know, being the competitor that I am, then that takes away from, you know, the thought of you know worrying about results, um, and so when I when I when I am at, my, am at my best is when I'm controlling my mind, and you know, and the, the results will you know be the byproduct of that. How goals for 2025? Um, you know, of course, you know, when going into this offseason, you know, work as hard, hard as possible, you know, um, you know, fix some things, you know, here and there, just kind of tweak some things uh, on the pitching side, you know, and also on the physical side. Um, but, you know, 2025, you know, going to spring training, um, you know, say, say what's up to everybody. Um, <laughs> That's a great goal. Yeah, you know, you know, say what's up to everybody. Um, and, you know, kind of, you know, get with the coaches, you know, pick their brain, you know, kind of like, hey, you know, what's, what's the year, you know, look like, you know, what do I, what do I need to work on, you know, during the spring training. Um, you know, and like I say, you know, just be where my feet are, you know, in spring training and then, you know, where – Wherever it takes me after that, it takes me. Given that you are one step from the majors now, I mean, how confident are you that you can not just make the majors next year, but make an impact for this team? Yeah, you know, like I say, when, you know, that's my time, it's my time, you know, to be up here. But, you know, I'm fully confident in myself, you know, that I can, you know, you know, come up here and make an impact, you know, on this team. Um, and, you know, especially with all the help behind, you know, all the older guys, um, that'll be even more helpful, so. Do you have any uh, talks with like Christian Scott or anything about what it was what the, this season was like for him at all? Yeah, you know, I actually talked to C. Scott the other day, um, just kind of asking how he was doing. Um, you know, me and him had, had a few conversations, um, but you know, the season he had, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, I mean, I played two years of college with him. You know, and the progress that he had, um, you know. Just, you know, watching from where he was to where he's at now, you know, it, honestly, you know, I was very happy for him. You know, it actually made me happy, too, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I still I still keep up with Scott. Um, you know, he's one of my good good buddies, so. This is a, a really long season. How, how are you feeling physically right now? Um, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's been a long season. You know, I've been, been going since draft camp last year, um, you know. I mean, to be honest, I mean, body's a little tired, but you know that, that that's expected. Um, but you know, I mean, there's there's still work to be done. Um, you know, going to the off season, you know, grind as hard as possible. Um, you know, get stronger, you know, physically and and mentally. Um, you know, and go into next year.